So do you see any correlation between directing Shakespeare, directing a Marvel superhero movie and directing a Disney fairy tale, or am I just crazy? Uh, <laughs> no, you're, of course you're not crazy, you're <laughs> marvellous, but uh, the, the correlation is uh, that you have to um, kind of understand and be happy about the fact that it's good to revisit these things. I remember when I got to do Thor, uh, you know, there hadn't been a Thor movie uh, before and there were 50 years of comics and people had all this ownership. Yeah. But I like the episode from there and I like the addition from there. And, and with Cinderella, well, you know, what does the dress look like? Who's the prince? There was uh, the great thing is that people feel this personal connection to the material uh, that has to release you rather than confine you and same with Shakespeare you've got to just go in there and say you know people will have done it before they might even have done it better <laughs> probably they've done it better but you can do it different and new <laughs> well I like both your version of Much Ado About Nothing and Joss Whedon's well, version well there you go you see yeah and and, 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 uh, and well, frankly we came to the party pretty late because I <laughs> think there have been versions for the last 400 years that have been pretty good too <laughs> exactly when it comes to Cinderella was there a thought of how to up Update it for for kids these days because I remember having this fairy tale read to me when I was young and thinking mm. I don't want a prince to save me. Well, I'm not going to wait around for a prince. Yeah, and I think that uh, quite a lot of people would 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 agree with you and and uh, and so the idea of 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 her very much having a different view and being pragmatic and proactive about this was was really key. Um, and that, that uh, you know, although subtle, was a really significant shift in how the story would, would tilt itself. You could still, she could still be every bit of Cinderella and we could still provide all those set pieces. The mice would still turn into horses yeah. and a pumpkin would be transformed. But at the center of it, the biggest transformation in the 21st century is her character. Um, and, 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 and therefore a, a different kind of transformation is, is possible in, in the movie that I think feels now. And have courage, be kind. It's a really great message for kids, especially. Yeah. My motto is be honest, be silly, be kind. Oh, what I like would that your motto I know, be? No, I like that. I like, I like be honest, be silly. Um, I, no, I'd say to have courage and be kind. Be silly is good. I think a uh, little lunacy is good. You yeah. Know? Um, yeah, it, it's good. So I'm, I'm with you. Would you just write that down? We've, we're probably making a second and third one of these yeah, movies, good. and maybe she could change the motto. Good. Be silly. Uh, I may I may take credit for the idea. Well, that's okay. okay. As long so as I can. You won't want a really, like a, a percentage. Can I come it. in the background and just? Yeah, you Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> no, I'm liking that very much. The moves yeah. I think are terrific. The point. No, to the pointing is excellent. So <laughs> again, that gives me a lot of ideas for the second one. But again, I have to own them. Okay, uh, okay. that's fine. If I can stand also behind Stellan Skarsgård, that. Yeah. I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah, I'll be yeah. happy with that. Good. We almost didn't that. recognize him in this movie. Has he almost become like your good luck charm? <laughs> he's a, well, he's uh, he's certainly a wonderful guy to work with, and we had great fun on Thor. And uh, uh, he often ribs me about the fact that I I, I left him there in the Marvel universe. <laughs> but I said, well, you're in every movie. You're like you're, you're like a, one of the stars of the entire Marvel hemisphere. Um, uh, uh, but it was great to have him here because he's so playful as an actor and intelligent and fun and so present. He's a great guy, wonderful influence on everybody else because he enjoys his work so much. And he's, a, he's, always, he's the only actor I know who is always on set before he is called. He's honest, silly and yeah. kind, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, he's honest, definitely silly. He's got the Swedish lunatic thing going on. Yeah, great. Thank you so much. Thanks, Pleasure you. Pleasure talking to you. Thanks. Hey, everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.